isn't it like ever weird mm-hmm. to like meet somebody who like doesn't really understand you know your autism mm, who wouldn't understand that i think that over the past 10 years of working in the field more people now know the word autism and understand that it's a disorder but i still think there are a lot of um, misunderstandings about what it is. So I just do this project because my little brother actually has autism and I feel like just a lot of people don't really know what the disorder is. So um, I, uh, I really advocated for doing this big idea project because I've had some personal experiences with people with mental disabilities myself. I really wanted to uh, help raise awareness Let's see, why I chose this project? I'm kind of the odd one out in this group. I didn't really know anyone personally who had autism. I didn't really know the effects of autism. But through this project, I've been able to learn more and through that actually kind of have a personal touch with this story too. To start the project, we we decided to interview a few students from the school to get a general consensus of how much students knew about autism. Do you ever think about people with mental disabilities? I think that I do sometimes. Yes. Yes. Yeah, all the time. What do you know about people who have autism? I don't know a lot. Uh, it's a mental disability, a uh, learning disability. I know very little. But I'd have to say that my knowledge of autism is very limited. James and I, we went to go and talk to my little brother's speech therapist and we talked to her about what autism was. So when we, when we talk about autism, we're, we're talking about something that people are born with. And so it involves uh, deficits in communication, um, which really early on looked like language delays. So it's sort of like communication bundled in with uh, social reciprocity then. My major field of research in this project was going to interview Tim, my autistic friend. Tim, yeah. do you ever feel like um, the way you think makes it a little hard for you to do certain things? Yeah, it kind of does. Like, I keep in house. I, have, I, I try hard, but I have problems keeping house sometimes. Because you can't put the skill in the dishwasher. Our conversation was a little bit awkward, but I really uh, learned a lot from Tim. Even just about the sort of the quirks of everyday life that sort of come with his autism. So to raise awareness, uh, we started talking to um, each class level. All right, cool. So we are Project Breakthrough, and our main focus is to raise awareness about people who have mental disabilities. Breakthrough is like sort of breaking down the walls of ignorance and awkwardness. Because autism is such a thing that it affects almost everyone, and everyone has to be prepared when they encounter it and how to act. So in this way, our project is beneficial for everyone, really. Everyone has room for growth. Um, the kids, <laughs> the families, um, all the people, no matter how impacted they are, you know, and then all the people working with them <laughs> have room for growth as well. Who in here would, uh, would like to learn more about autism? Uh, it feels like maybe they don't know enough.